Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons 2. This is a really, really cool mod pack that is basically, as it says, the spiritual successor of the first version, but has over 1,500 quests, 100 biomes, dozens of structures. It's crazy. All that can be done here. You can go nomad. You can build a base. You can build, like, there's cooking and farms and even, like, basic technology. It's kind of crazy what can be done with this mod pack, and that's why it's super, super popular with over 1.8 million downloads. So how do you get it? Well, in order to get Roguelike Dungeons and Adventures 2, we're going to need the Curse Forge Launcher. To download the Curse Forge Launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting Curse Forge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well, so don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the Download Curse Forge button to be taken to the official Curse Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start downloading Curse Forge right away. And while this is downloading, how to mention our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start a roguelike Adventures and Dungeons 2 mod pack server for you and your friends. You can easily play roguelike Adventures and Dungeons with your friends, and it's super easy to get everything set up. You can also play other CurseForge mod packs, post a vanilla server, add your own individual mods, and even plugins. Whatever you want to do with your server, you can do it at Simple Game Hosting. Should you have any issues hosting your server, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out along the way. But generally, the best thing is that you can easily install roguelike Adventures and Dungeons to and get playing with your friends within minutes. Instead of having to go through the whole server download and all that, it's all taken care of for you through our installer. From there, you just launch up the mod pack, which you're doing with this video, and then join the server quick and easy. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your own roguelike Adventures in Dungeons 2 mod pack server or any other Minecraft server you want the simple way. CurseForge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and it's going to be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then going to open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you want to click on Next, click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. We can then search for Rogue like if I uh, can spell it roguelike there we go and we want to find roguelike adventures and dungeons too you may need to scroll down just a little bit to find it uh, you can also search for this entire string roguelike adventures and dungeons too and then when you found it here you want to go ahead and click the install button next to it and then go ahead and start installing now you can go ahead and wait for it to install here or you can click on the minecraft icon and go back to the my mod packs tab and watch it install there as well it's really up to you and once it's finished installing there will be a play button when you hover over it on the My Mod Packs tab. Click that and then Minecraft will open. Now, you'll have to log into Minecraft, but that's perfectly okay because this is the Minecraft launcher that you use to launch your normal Minecraft game, if you will, like vanilla and all that. It's just opened up via CurseForge instead of, you know, on your own computer using the Microsoft Store, right? Same exact process here. And once you log into your Microsoft account and access the Minecraft launcher, you will have Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons 2 and can just click play to start playing it. It's now going to open up Minecraft with the mod pack installed. It's honestly amazing how easy CurseForge makes getting a mod pack set up and running and getting it on your computer to be able to play. So absolutely amazing and so glad it exists and is able to get things working so easily when it comes to mod packs with, in this case, nearly 280 mods, 279 mods to be specific. So once you're on the main menu, you can go ahead and join single player world or a multiplayer world. While this was loading up, I went ahead and started a simple game hosting server for roguelike adventures and dungeons 2 and we're joining right on into that right now once we're in game we can go ahead and start exploring like jumping into uh whatever that is or going over here to these buildings because for some reason that's what i like to do so if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel Ooh, what is that over there if you haven't already it really does help us out and it means a ton to me and let me know in the comments what is your favorite part about this mod pack because uh it's a pretty cool mod pack if you ask me like there was a building over there i think that's a that's a raccoon right here. There's just so much to do and explore, and honestly, I might
might actually check this mod pack out. I'm also curious how the endurance and combat and agility is that XP that's happening? Or like the lack of, I don't even know what's happening. So much to le learn, so much to explore. I think what I really need to do is go check out a Let's Play. But anyway, we will see you in the next video. We hope you enjoyed this one. And be sure if you want to play a roguelike Adventures and Dungeons 2 with your friends to check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your modded Minecraft server. I'm out. Peace.